Um, I find I face the tension from the theologically trained folks when they may dismiss stories in favor of what scripture says, comments. So what's, what, how are we integrating how we are, our posture around scripture and stories and how those interplay? Well, my, my first response, which I would draw is that um, if they are theologians and they are down on stories, um, they need to start all over again <laughs> because Don't read the Bible. The scripture is one huge set of stories. <laughs> it's inside the stories. I mean, Jesus goes around telling stories. Um, so, I mean, I mean, I think part of it is that, um, I'll, I'll say this and I'll stop. Uh, we're, we're at the 500th year of a certain tradition called the Reformations. And unfortunately, those events took place inside the birth of something called rationalism and an objectification of things. And so there's been a dismissal of the ordinary and the stories that are present, but that's where God's spirits at work. So I think the challenge here is a lot of people, including some of us on this who are theologically trained, were theologically entrained in a world that actually is antithetical to biblical imagination. Yeah, so that rationalism issue is a key. You know, I've talked about this a little bit, that often when people think theology, they're thinking systematic theology, rationalized theology, um, which is a particular mode and method of doing theology. Um, and I think it's important, but I think that's a, an, an important auxiliary work that where as a practical theologian, I think real theology is what how Sally calls herself a community theologian. It really is this, how do you bring together stories of the people, the work of the spirit, the stories of the text, the stories of our tradition, I'll let the other kinds of theology in, um, but it's doing that, ref helping a community do that reflective work so that we can discern what God's up to and participate in that. And that's the real on the ground theology. It's what you see Paul doing all the time. It's what um, other biblical texts are doing. They're trying to name things in the midst of life with God and with neighbor. Um, but yeah, if, if we're basically trying to line it up with rational categories, then those categories will often blind us to God, um, even though they're called theology. So Danny's got a bit of a reputation here. Uh, I've had more than one, pe one person say that that when Danny gets a question, he tells a story. So um, <laughs> it's, I'm glad it's in the bones, in your bones, and therefore it becomes in the bones of your congregation. And this is not directly answering your question, but I thought about, about it earlier, is in, in this kind of tension with theologians. It's not just with theologians. Our youth have grown up in our church where they're used to mystery, they're used to story, they're used to just like op open-endedness, and then they'll end up with, going to somebody else's youth group and they'll feel like those guys know the Bible. We don't. <laughs> so, <like>, well, <laughs> and, and they feel the tension of that more uh, rational. Uh, it's the Bible that's important and, and, and they get thrown, but they've not known anything other than our congregation. So that's an interesting piece for us. We must be doing something different that when they go out, they recognize. And sometimes they're intimidated because I think people with very clear, thinking, rational argument, and, and, and you know, if you're in a congregation where the preaching is always, okay, I'm maybe too strong with this, but the, a lot of times preaching is getting your thinking right, mm -hmm. right? And so when you say, are we doing theology? We, we are, but it's, it's different. And um, it's much more relational. It's much more story-based and, and giving room for a text to flex. People think stories are, are about making a point. Yeah. And that's yeah. what you're countering which is good, that it isn't yeah. just, I already know the truth, my story's just illustrated. Rather, yeah. the thing is the story. This yeah. is life, and this is where we're being lured in to yeah. that mystery. 